Hi, this is Connie with the NSH. Today, we're talking about you, science, and posters, specifically scientific posters at the NSH convention and how you can be part of the program. If you've never done a poster before or led a poster project, it can be a little hard to know how to get started. So that's where this video comes in. Here are the top five ways to get started with your poster. Pick your topic. Yeah, your first step seems pretty obvious, but we're going to cover it anyway. Think about the work you're doing. Did you finish a research project that you're proud of and want to share? Were you working in the lab and discovered a new really efficient way to do something? Do you have a technique that's tried and true and you want the whole world to know how amazing it is and why they should try it? These are all great poster topics and in the years past, they have made for some of the most exciting content presented on the poster show floor. You know the old saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink? Well, I disagree. When you write out clearly your walk away message, meaning the conclusion of all your testing, research, or the practical experience with your topic, it'll guide all aspects of your poster, ensuring that when people walk away, you can be absolutely 100% without a doubt sure that they know about your topic. So where should this walk away message exist? several places, but definitely in the abstract and in the conclusion, which, hint hint, is part of the requirements for submitting your poster. If you've never written an abstract, check out the resources in the description below, or reach out to a trusted advisor or coworker who can help. But to give you a preview, abstracts basically have three key things. The first, what is the problem that your solution, technique, etc. is helping to solve? The second, what steps did you take to come up with your solution? And the third, what is the solution? And your solution, well, that's the takeaway, walk away message. Make them drink that message or water. Even highlight it within the abstract or in other areas. Seriously, go all professional football and feed them that water. Third tip is to, well, include everything. The poster team provides all the details about what you should include in your poster. Some of these things are submitting a high quality poster PDF, having a poster title that has the title, authors, and the author affiliations. Make sure you include references, supporting data where appropriate, introduction, and of course that conclusion, that wonderfully highlighted, larger than life conclusion. Seriously, don't put baby in a corner. You'll also want to include charts, graphs, or photos, maybe all three, but make sure that no matter what kind of graphic you include, that they are easy to read. Your fourth tip, sort of covered in our third, but let's just do it again. Include pictures. This is a poster, not a dissertation. So use this as an opportunity to really pull people into your topic using those beautiful histology photos. You're gonna to want to use pictures because it'll help inspire people to ask more questions, follow up with you, and maybe even read those references. Your last tip is visualize and lay out what you want your poster to look like. Think about all of the sections and make sure you're including them. What's really cool about the poster gallery this year is that you are also given the opportunity to record a short video. You can use this video for all kinds of things. It could just be audio where you're talking about your poster, or it could actually be you recording time with content from your poster that you really want people to know about. Hint, hint, wink, wink, your walk away message. That's it. But of course, if you have questions, reach out to us here at NSH. We're here to help. We want everyone to feel comfortable and excited to submit a poster. Don't be intimidated. It's a wonderful experience and it's something that you should try. If there are any issues, the poster team will reach out to you privately. So don't worry about feeling like you're putting yourself out there for the whole world to see. There will be some back and forth when it's needed. Thanks for watching and we really hope to see your poster abstract submission.